Hi everyone, I'm Javi and in this video I will show you how to use the fade track so you can fade to black from gameplay to cinematic and fade to black in your cinematic between shots. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So in this tutorial I will be working with this cinematic that I have made in the previous tutorials. This cinematic only has two shots and some audio. I will show you just so you get an idea of what the cinematic is right now before we add the fade track. Pizza time. And that's it. Now let's add the fade track. While we work on the fade track, I'm going to mute this audio. So mute this audio track and mute this audio track, just so we don't hear the music over and over again while we use the fade track. So I'm going to minimize this audio track and this audio track as well. And now I'm going to click here and add the fade track. So here this fade track, as you can see, has this value. We can go from zero to one or over one, but in reality one is pitch black already. So going over one doesn't make any sense. So one is pitch black and zero is completely transparent. What is a fade to black? A fade to black is just going from zero to black and then from black to zero, right? So that's how we are going to be doing our fade to black effect or transition. So for example, I want to fade to black between this shot and this shot. How we're going to do that? So first, I will be adding a keyframe on zero, right where I want my fade to start. So right before we reach this point, the point in which we go from shot one to shot two, I'm going to go some frames behind and press a keyframe on zero. Now I want to go here where we change between shots and here I will be adding a keyframe on one, so completely black. And now a few frames forward, we will be going back to zero. So zero and enter. Let's see how it looks. And there you have it. We just made a fade to black transition. So what if I feel that the transition is too fast? So we can just zoom in, zoom in a little bit. And what we can do is we can just take this first keyframe and put it a little bit farther from this pitch black one. And we'll do the same with this other one. Now let's see how it looks. So as you can see, now the transition is a little bit slower. Now, what if we want to make a fade to black transition, but from gameplay to cinematic, and then fade to black from cinematic to gameplay again? Let me show you. So here in camera cut, when we have this camera cut track, what we see or what we show the player is the cinematic, right? But what happens if we shorten the camera cut? For example, here, if we press play, it shows nothing and then shows the cinematic. Right now, we're just taking a look at Pizza Pit, but in gameplay, when we are not showing a camera cut, what we are seeing is the player. We are seeing ourselves. So what we need to do is start the fade when the player is seeing themselves and then show the camera cut, right? So let me drag this here a bit. Let's say to 0 0.5, right? Here is the moment in which we want to start seeing the cinematic. So for example, we can go here to the start and while we have our fade value on zero, we can add a keyframe and now as we go exactly here, as the cinematic is about to start, we are going to add a keyframe on one. So here the player is seeing themselves, it goes to black, and now that we are seeing the cinematic, we're going back to zero. So here we're going to be adding zero, enter, to add a keyframe on zero. So it will look something like this. So remember here the player what is going to be seeing is themselves. We'll do the same at the end. 
So here at the end, we are going to shorten the camera cut a bit. Let's say here. And now we're going to fade to black when the cinematic is ending. So let's start here at zero. Let's add a keyframe. Right at the end, let's go to pitch black again. So one, enter. And now here that the player is seeing themselves, we're going back to zero. So let's press here, zero, enter. And let's go a little bit over here at seven. So here what will happen is it will go to black and then the player will see themselves. And that's how you use the fake track. So let me save real quick with Control Shift S to save everything. And now I will unmute this audio tracks. And let's go in game and see how it looks. Okay, so now we'll see how the fade to black transition looks in game. And there you have it. Now you know how to use the fade track. Let's see it one more time. As you see, it fades from gameplay to cinematic. And then it does the same at the end. It fades from the cinematic to gameplay with the fade to black transition. If you like this tutorial, then a thumbs up would be highly appreciated. If you like this kind of content, then consider subscribing. It will help me a lot. And I will be uploading many, many more tutorials about cinematics on UEFN. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully. Thank you. Bye bye.